When you create or join a new abstract organization, you may need to create some projects. Even if you're joining an existing abstract organization with many projects, there are still situations in which you'll need to create a new project. So let's talk about creating projects. Creating a project in abstract is quite simple. In the organization view, click new project. You'll get some options right away, like giving it a title, choosing which section to put it in, assigning it a color for visual hierarchy, and deciding whether it should be publicly available to your whole team or private to just you. With the new project created, you're ready to import files. You can import sketch files you want from your local machine into a project, but here's an exercise that you can do to make sure that you end up with organized and scalable projects. Take a look at your website's sitemap or your product's information architecture. If you have a journey map through your product, that's great too. Reviewing these items helps you map out the pages or main areas of your product into a tree structure. With this format in mind, you can organize your existing designs into files that parallel the setup of your product and then bring those files into your project in abstract. Let's take a look at an example to see how I might do this. Here I have a mobile banking app. Taking a look at the bottom tab bar first, I can see that I might have a home screen, a search function, some kind of ad flow, a transfer page, and a settings page. Next, I'll open up the menu and see what I have. So I can see by the list of items in this menu that these might be other major areas of my banking app. And if I click on these items, I can see that I might have some other subpages or states of these main areas. After going through the sitemap exercise, I have a tree that looks like this. The brownish boxes represent the main areas of the app, and the grayish boxes are the subpages within each of those buckets. Now that I know this, I can set up nine sketch files, one for each of my product's main areas. And within some of those sketch files, I'll have pages to represent the subpages in my product. When I have my sketch files organized this way, I can import them into abstract and they'll become the very first version of my project's master. Another thing that I will do to wrap up creating my first project is add some information in the about section of the project. You could include anything here that might be helpful for your team to know more about this project. You might describe the product that you're making here, include links to documentation, team working agreements, like how we use abstract on our team, any fonts that you might need to download, or any other checklists or documentation that'll be useful for your team.